Hey yo, what is up Yon Squad and welcome back to the vlog. I figured right now would be a good time to start the vlog since I've already done quite a few things today and just haven't started the vlog. My mother and I just wrapped up eating at Good Buddy's Pub, which is in Camillus. I've never been here before. The food was pretty good. And today we're gonna bring Aubrey fishing for her first time. I don't know if you guys can see, but we got the fishing poles in the back. They are calling for rain though, so I think the spot that we're gonna go actually has a bridge that we can stand underneath in case it does start raining so we don't get soaking wet since we don't have any rain gear here in Syracuse with us. So we came over to Onondaga Lake Park by the river and I uh, just hooked onto a nice little perch right here with a little tiny tiny rapala or rapala whatever you guys want to call it. There's tons of big fish in here but it seems like the only ones that are biting are the little ones. Aubrey hasn't caught one yet but she's trying hard. Aubrey just had a fish on but it ended up getting off and then I just ended up hooking into another fat perch. This one's actually relatively big. Not bad. Not bad at all. This is my girl right here, getting the worms all by herself, and she's even gonna put it on the hook. Ew. Put it on the hook. This hook. Watch your fingers, okay? Because the hook is really sharp. Good job, uh. I put it on. Good job, baby. A little more practice, you'll be a professional, just like your father. Hurry up, reel it in. Good job, you caught a little rock bass. Oh, Aubrey, <laughs> no, don't do that. Don't swing it around like that. He's not dying, Aubrey. You just took him out of the water. He's fine. Good job. She finally caught a fish. Little rock bass. We just wrapped up fishing right now. We are headed back to the house. I apologize if it sounds a little windy. We got the air conditioning blasting right now. It is so humid out. Aubrey caught her first fish today. I'm so proud of her. It was a little tiny little guy, but Tiny fish for a tiny kid. Are you happy you caught your first fish? Yeah! Do you like fishing? Yeah. Yeah, we should start doing that more often, huh? I want to do it even. I want to do it a lot. You want to do it a I lot? I love fishing. Maybe we can go fishing tomorrow. Aubrey's mom just came and picked her up. We ended up taking like an hour nap. We were up super, super early today. And it was really, really cloudy out today. And somehow I still managed to get a little bit of a sunburn, so... The energy was just like drained out of me. As soon as I got home, I just felt like completely drained and had to take a nap. So Aubrey and I took a nap. She just left. Rachel is coming to pick me up. Uh, I guess my brother-in-law, Romeo, is performing at some art show tonight. Uh, he does like music and stuff like that. It's like an art gallery. So I guess we're going to head over there and check that out for like an hour or two. And then I have no idea what's planned after that. We got Bryson Tiller's cousin in the building about to perform. I had to let him borrow the hat because his... I don't know if you guys can see, but no, no, it's like not even pointing. Is it out of now? Yeah. Not the really. lint, the lint is part of the hat. It's a fuzzy it hat. Yeah, but that's not style, bro. Looking like that's, you have a linty ass hat on. That's from H and M, man. That's from H and M. They call me. They call me the fat teller. They call me DJ Khaled's cousin. Yeah, that's what you look like. I'm not anymore since you shaved shave the beard, though. I know, now I just look Mexican. Yeah. So, when Romeo said he was performing at an art gallery, this was not what I had in mind. It wasn't. I mean, there's like, there's definitely art here, but Romeo, like, raps. And I didn't know they do that at art galleries. You didn't know that? No. Come on, in LA they even know that. Yeah, we're not in LA, we're in Sorry Cube. We're not in Sorry Cube. Sorry, it's too. Sorry Cube is a beautiful place. Oh, Cody just talked at Sarah Cube's life. Said no one ever. Here I am. <laughs> A lot of you guys wanted to see Romeo's sister in the vlog, so you guys got it. Did I tell you about that, Rome? Oh yeah, she she's taken by the way, so. Dude, I had so many comments on yesterday's vlog wanting to see your sister in the vlog. Here she is. Yeah, she's taken, man. Don't be coming at my brother Kev. You know what it is. Uh, those are fighting words. I'm very sensitive. Drunk Cody might make an appearance. Like, you guys know when I went to the gym and was working out, it was hard for me to hold up the camera. Now it's even harder because I'm like a little lit right now. But like I said, this was not what I had in mind for an art gallery. Like, we got people performing in here and shit. There is some dope ass artwork, don't get me wrong. It's not like any Mona Lisa type shit, but it's pretty good artwork. And this is just not what I had in mind. Like, I didn't think people that rapped and shit performed at art galleries, but I guess this is the first time for everything. Yo, so, Tommy D. my boy like Tommy it. from back home has never made an appearance in the vlog. Because I haven't seen this guy in what, like five years? It's been a handful of years. It's been a handful of years. And this guy is funny as fuck. Like, I, I've only seen you when I'm drunk, and it's pretty fucking funny, but like, 
This man is fucking hilarious, bro. You gotta start making appearances in the vlogs and shit. I would love to, bro. I'm flattered right now. I'm blushing. Like, I feel like, like a, a schoolgirl at like, once. Like, I'm letting the taco meat out. I'm ready. I'm can I, can, okay, everyone wants to see the taco meat, though. They're gonna wanna know oh what it is. God, oh is my God. God. It's got some seasoning. Bro, I don't mean to diss on you, but my my boy Romeo's son has more hair on his chest than you do, bro. Oh, it's fucking Guido, man. <laughs> there was a dog in this place. This dog to you know have all these drug addicts and alcoholics uh, pet the dog. I don't I don't know. Apparently that's like rehabilitative, but um, unfortunately for me, they actually banned me from making peanut butter sandwiches when the dog was in the building. Um, <laughs> It wasn't licking my nuts or anything, I just kept feeding it, you know, so that, they didn't really, uh, they didn't like that, but I've been trying to assimilate back into, you know, regular world culture, and I've been trying to do things that I haven't done, like, uh, like, does anybody in here drive, uh, standard? Does anybody do that in here? Yeah, yeah, all two of you, woo! This guy's like, oh, I can do that. I just picture, like, people at, like, the Tully's Arcade, they're like, fucking, yeah! I can barely fucking change That's the high. No, I, I can't do it. God bless you. I can't do it. But anyway, you know, I'm just, I'm happy to be here. Chris is a good friend of mine. Uh, this is fucking, this awesome. Having a good time. I'm glad I'm not uh, taking Suboxone and going to bed by 10 p.m. So, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he wouldn't mind, babe. Okay. This is my boy Richard, though. I don't give a fuck about y'all. What's his name? What's his name? Jerry Wilson. It's Jerry fucking Wilson. Yeah, Richard. That's what I said, bro. Rachel, get off my man. Disrespect Jerry fucking. Bro, you didn't even know his name, Dutch. Like this, my man, Rachel. If you keep touching on him like that, you're grounded. Bro, you won't make out with him like I will, though. <laughs> la, la, la. <laughs> Bro, he tastes like copper low key. You stole my man, babe. No, that's my man. You're tripping. <laughs> You're tripping. Dude, Fuck off, Romeo. Saying? That's my man. What are you saying? Would you tip a towel on my tip a tash towel? I tip a your wallet right now. You tip a towel on my towel and my tip a tash? Yep, I tippy tied your wallet, babe. Why would you tip a towel my tip a tash and tip a towel? So you didn't lose it. But you put it in the tip a towel my tip a towel my tip a I put it in your tippy town pocket. My tip a pocket? I got tip a tacks on. Yeah, you got tip a tock in there. And I'm you a, had like some. I'm a tip a tock on the clock, tip a town, tip a tassel. Okay, tonight. Tonight? Good. Ooh, I'm gonna kiss you on the cheek. There you go. You're gonna tip it touch me. Tip it town, my tip it town. You guys wanted to see him? You guys have requested to see John Cody? Okay, tip it town, my tip it town, on my tip it <laughs> So here you go. This is John Cody for you. Tip it town, my tip it town, my tip it town. Alright, what do you gotta say to your, your fellow viewers? Tip it town, my tip it town, my tip it town. So that, mean, that pretty much means suck my dick. I love you guys. There is tip it town, my tip it town, my tip it town. Okay. I'm gonna tip it town. Tip it town, my tip it town, my tip it town. Tip it town, my tip it town. Alright. May I will end it here. Good night, babe. I love you so much. You're gonna end it on my tip it town, my tip it town. Alright. You know what? You tip, it tip it town, my tip it town, my tip it town. Tip it town is just what it is. 
That's our new saying. I'm about to tip it tie off order tip it town. Tip it town, dude. Tip it tight. <laughs> tip it tight. Peace. Now he's sound asleep. Literally, not even a minute later, guys. That's how. That's just how funny he is when he's under the influence of alcohol. Sleep good, baby. Ooh, well. As I'm sure you guys can tell, let me fix this lens here. I need to get a new camera. As I'm sure you guys can tell the footage prior to me recording right now, last night got a little crazy. We were out until three o'clock in the morning. I got escorted out of a bar by five bouncers uh, for sticking up for an innocent guy who got sucker punched in the face by some muscle meathead who thought because he had muscles like he ran the show. The, the guy was a complete bully. I ended up losing my phone. I didn't find my phone until 3 o'clock in the afternoon today. I didn't find my camera until about an hour ago because I, I, I just don't really remember where I put anything. My phone was in Romeo's car underneath the seat and I, I don't even want to tell you guys where my camera is because you guys are going to call me names. But I have a huge surprise for you guys. I cannot tell you what it is yet. I want to give them hints, babe, but oh, I can't. I can't give you guys any hints just yet. You're just gonna have to wait for tomorrow's vlog and that's when you guys will know the surprise So with that being said, I think that is gonna wrap it up for this vlog Thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed do me a favor and smash that like button I would really really appreciate it Make sure to stay tuned for tomorrow so you can find out what the surprise is and I'll see you guys next time. Peace Really Sebastian? <laughs>